don't forget to wear your headphones. Well, good morning, sleepyhead. You most definitely fell asleep right during the sermon here on my lap. But don't worry, I'm not complaining. Though I have to say, you did get quite a few dirty looks. Perhaps they were for me. Seeing a demon here in a church, well, it's not a usual sight. Well, we need to get that contract from the priest here. Apparently there's some sort of demon stalking girls after dark. You know, the usual. <laughs> Whatever do you mean? I suppose. Yes, I suppose there have been a few cases of children and demon causing a... whatever the word is. I just don't see it as often. Uh, it's usually some pervy demon stalking girls. But... who knows? I suppose we'll have to find out, won't we? In the meantime, he hasn't shown his face. Everyone's starting to leave. I don't mind sitting here a little while longer with your head in my lap. You look quite adorable from this angle, you know. Of course I mean it. Why wouldn't I? Hmm. I could stay like this forever, you know. Just the two of us. <sighs> Let them stare, I don't care. This atmosphere is quite nice. I don't know what it is. You'd think I'd feel the opposite to me being a half-demon and all in a church, but... I don't know. I feel so at peace here. I wonder what it is. <laughs> Listen to me rambling on. How was your nap? You slept for quite some time. Mm, that's good. You've still got a bit of sleep in the corner of your eye. Just there. <sighs> How's that scar healing? The one you got from our last contract. That was a nasty job. Well, I'm glad to hear you're feeling better. I, um, I thought I was going to lose you. No, it was quite scary. Believe you. Right. Well. I, I promise I won't let you out of my sight on this one. Not that I think it's going to be much trouble, I mean... What good is a demon who only comes out at night? If he can't even bother to show his face during the day, he can't be that formidable. Right. Nevertheless, I plan to not let you out of my sight for even a moment. I need to ensure your safety. For my own well-being. I'm afraid it's not that quite... Not that simple. 
how could it be? Your life means more to me than anything. I know I brought you into this job, and I had no idea I would grow to... grow to love you, but... Every day our lives are in danger, and I understand we must. How many people are actually out there hunting demons? Only us that I've heard of, and perhaps one other group. I just keep reminding myself that we're doing good and we're doing the world a favour, but... At what point does the risk stop being worth it? It is an annoying, invasive thought. One that aggravates me. I hate it popping up. I just wish... You were a little stronger, like me. I don't mean that to be offensive, I only mean that, well, I literally am stronger than you, but that would be my demon blood. <sighs> I wish there was a way to... <sighs> Never mind. <sighs> You simply must stop this. You must stop it. You're just sitting there looking so comfortable and tired. You're going to make me fall asleep right next to you. And then what will our contractor think of us? If the priest just came strutting out and we were both asleep on his pews. God. He might fire us right on the spot and risk exercising it himself. <laughs> well, exorcisms are semi-effective. More like a weakening. It's quite hard to explain. Demons don't exactly exist in the same dimension as ours. You must kill them, but, well, of course no mortal object can do it. I knew such a... No, I'm, I'm fine. I swear, I'm not getting sick. I know how... I know how upset you got last time. You sat by my side and nursed me to health for weeks. Goodness. How many times at this point do you think... One of us was scared the other was going to die. I don't know. That's all I mean, that... This lifestyle that I've forced us into... It's not exactly one that... Not exactly one that's fit for lovers. <laughs> every day is scary. But every day is also happy and exciting because I get to be with you <laughs> of course I meant every word and why wouldn't I have? <laughs> you must be joking I would not <laughs> I would not joke of such things if I say that you are my everything, then of course I mean it. Mean it with every ounce of my being. <sighs> Look. I told you that I'm telling the truth. I don't like it when you call me a liar. I said I don't like it. When you call me a liar. Not angry. Just... A little annoyed. Don't worry. 
going to blow anything up like I did last time that I was angry. <sighs> now that was truly annoying. I blew up her entire supply of food and I had no one to blame but myself. Do you have any idea how frustrating that is? I do love to place the blame on someone else. And when there was no one else to but myself. Ugh. But here we are. <laughs> you know how I prefer to use magic? Well, when we were in the market the other day, I saw this really unique weapon. I was thinking I might give it a try. Well, magic is cool and all, but... I don't know. You fight with such grace, I... I kind of want to try it. Maybe I'll look as cool as you do. Why are you laughing at me? I thought it would be... a nice idea. Now here you are making fun of me. You're so rude. Well... If this priest doesn't show up soon, I'm afraid I might fall asleep. Perhaps if we just take a little nap. No, don't worry. No, I'm comfortable like this. You can be a little spoon for once. I'm not moving. So unless you'd like to sleep on the pew next to me, you'll have to grow up and deal with it. Who's my little spoon? You are. <laughs> I'm only teasing you, calm down. No one's going to care. I'm not doing anything unchristian. Oh, come now. Since when do you care what others actually think about us? That's what I thought. Are you going to lay down and take a nap with me? It's your fault I'm tired anyways. Looking all adorable and comfortable here in my lap. Now I simply must sleep. And you're going to give me all the cuddles I ask for. <sighs> yes, this is a robbery. Put your arms around me and don't let go. Hmm. <laughs> So funny, huh? I think I'm going to sleep now. Wake me up whenever our contractor gets here. If he ever does. <laughs>